Okay, let's do a quick slide redesign. You can grab your own copy of this slide deck using the link in the description. Here we go, I have a standard slide right here. It's a title and bullets. This one happens to be about types of rocks. So I have a heading and I have three bullets. Let's make this a lot more visually appealing and also effective at communicating information. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a new slide. I always use blank slides. It allows you to have a clean slate that you can design however you like. And for this slide, I'm gonna go with a dark background with lighter text on top of it. So first thing I'm gonna do is change the background color from white to something different. Uh, I could come in here and just use black, but I, I prefer to use something that has a little bit of color in it so I like to go with a dark gray um, in this other tab here I have these gray color palettes and the the codes the hex codes for each color so I'm going to grab this dark gray right here by copying this hex code and I'm going to use that for the background so in background I'm going to go to color and custom and I'm going to paste that code in for the hex right here and done. And there's my deep, deep gray background. Uh, I think a deep gray is a little bit more interesting than just going with a stark black, but of course black would work as well. Next thing I need to do is add my title. So I'm just going to come here and I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to come on my new slide and I'm going to paste it. And we're going to tweak this quite a bit here. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make it white and we'll make it much larger. I'm gonna have it just span all the way across the slide and I'm gonna align it centered both horizontally and vertically, right about there. Next thing I wanna do is think about my typeface or my font. Um, right now, this is a default font, it's Arial. A standard font, it's installed on every computer, it's quite boring. Uh, it is a sans serif, which I like, because it's simple and clean and easy to read, but I do think we can do better. Uh, Google Fonts has, you know, literally hundreds of fonts you can choose from. Um, one of my favorites is DM Sans, which is what I'm gonna use here. So I'm gonna select that and choose the bold face. And you could see, very clear, easy to read, but a little bit more unique and interesting than just the standard Arial. And now I'm just gonna make it much bigger. I think we'll jump this up to about 48. Okay, that looks good. I'm just gonna pull it down from the top a little bit. Perfect. Okay, already much more interesting and engaging and the content is really popping out. So the next thing I have to do is deal with my bullets. So if I look at the content here, each bullet has the name of one of the three types of rocks as well as a little blurb or piece of information about how those rocks form. Now, to me, when there are three types of rocks, it's much better to show them on equal hierarchy. And what I mean by that is instead of in a vertical list, show them side by side because they all carry equal weight and equal importance. So I'm gonna do, instead of a vertical list, I'm gonna do a horizontal list. I'm gonna do three cards next to one another, one for each type of rock. So let's begin designing the first card. So I'm gonna grab a shape and I'm gonna use a rounded rectangle and I'm gonna draw it, and when I draw it, I wanna keep in mind my size. I'm gonna have three of these, so I don't wanna make it too big or too wide, and that looks pretty good right there. Now, as far as color goes, I think it's far too stark to have it in a really light color like this light gray, which is the default color here. I want it to stand out off the background, but just a little bit. So one of the things I like to do is kind of a tone on tone thing. So um, I'm gonna use one shade lighter than the dark gray background. So I'm gonna come back over to my little uh, color palette here and I'm gonna grab one color lighter than the background color. Now, of course, you don't need to use a fancy palette of colors here. I just like it. I think it's helpful to do something like that. There are thousands of websites that will offer uh, grayscale color palettes um, with the code, so you can use the exact code you want. So with this selected, I'm gonna choose my fill, and we're gonna do a custom color. And again, I'm gonna paste in my hex code and click OK. And there we go. So I have a slightly lighter gray on top of the background gray. And they're nice because they go with each other. They're not conflicting. A lot of people are thinking, well, it's just gray. All grays go with each other. But that's not actually true. There are some blue grays, cooler grays, and warmer grays, and, and so forth. So it's nice to use all one palette where I know they'll match nicely. Uh, I do want to get rid of the border. By default, it has this kind of grayish border. I want to get rid of that. So I'm going to grab my border color 
and choose transparent. Okay. Uh, I also want to decrease my border radius a little bit. I think that curve is a little too dramatic. Uh, that looks pretty nice there. Now, there's one other thing I want to do in styling this. I do want it to kind of pop out off the background a little bit. Um, and this is a very subtle effect, but I think it looks nice. So I'm going to select this and go up to my format options, and I'm going to turn on a drop shadow. Now, at first, you don't even really notice it. So I need to tweak my settings a little bit. Uh, the first thing I want to do is uh, make sure we're using a black shadow, which I am. Um, I want my angle to be down. So I want the shadow to extend downwards. So this should be at 90, which it is by default. Distance is how far the shadow comes off. I'm going to increase that a little bit. I'm going to put that up to about, I don't know, 20 or so. There we go. And you can start to see the shadow down here on the bottom. But as it is right now, it's far too harsh. So I can fix that by making it uh, a much higher blur radius. So you can see as I drag the blur radius, it becomes a lot softer and more spread out. I think I can go up to about 40. And that looks pretty nice. Um, it still is a little too severe for me, so I'm going to make it a little less, a little more transparent, a little more see-through. So maybe we'll put this at about a 70% transparency. And there you go, that looks nice. So it's a very subtle effect, but it definitely gives your slide some depth. Now, we have our card, and we're going to eventually duplicate this uh, two more times. But before I duplicate it, let's get some text in here and deal with the text. So I'm going to come back to my first slide. I'm going to copy my first bullet, and I'm going to double click on this rectangle, and I'm going to paste it in there. Okay. Now, obviously, it does not look good right now, so we need to work on this a little bit. So I'm going to highlight it all, and I'm going to get rid of my bullet, because we no longer need a bullet. And for the moment, I'm going to make it white, just so we can see it a little better. I'm also going to make it our font that we have chosen, which is our DM Sans. And I'm going to center it horizontally, and I'm also going to align it to the top of the box. Okay, so it looks like that. Now, the next thing is I want the word igneous to be kind of a heading within the box. I'm not going to use the word rocks here because I know it's types of rocks. It says so right here. So I'm just going to make it igneous. I'm going to delete rocks and then have a break there. So igneous, this will be my heading. And to make sure that it's clear that that's a heading, I'm going to make it bold. And then I'm going to go and format my text and make it uh, uppercase. There we go. And I'm going to make it a little bit larger, make it about 24. Now, I might have to come back and edit that later because I know my other two cards have pretty long titles, sedimentary and metamorphic. So we might have to tweak that size a little bit. And in fact, I'm going to make this a little bit wider right now just to give me some more space. OK. Um, I'm OK with this text. However, I want to make it a little bit darker color so that it stands out as different from the title. Right now, it's all white. So I want to grab like kind of a gray color. And again, I'm going to go back to my palette here. This is the palette I'm using. Um, so I think a kind of like a medium gray might look good. So I'm going to grab this one, highlight my text, go to my text color and custom, paste it in, and click OK. And there we go. That looks really nice. All right, we're getting close here. So all I need to do now is add some padding. I don't like how close the text is to the edges on the top and on the sides. So if I click on my box, and I'm over here in my format options, I can go to text fitting, and I have a section for padding. Now, I want quite a bit of padding at the top. I want to push this all down a little bit. So I'm going to make that about a 0.4. That looks pretty good. And on the left and right, I'll do about a 0.15. OK, and that looks pretty good. I'm going to make this a couple points smaller, maybe there. All right, and that looks pretty good. I think it doesn't need to be quite so tall. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I'm going to make it pad in from the sides a little bit more. So maybe 0 0.7, 0 0.17. There we go. OK. Now that I have a card done, I'm going to copy it and paste it. And this will become my second card. Now this one needs to be centered on the slide. So I center down the slide. But you can see they're overlapping. So I'm going to take my first card, 
move it over here like that perfect and then I might as well go ahead and make my third card as well put that over here line it up and I'm using my guides here see the blue guides on the bottom to make sure that everything is lined up and spaced out evenly all right that looks pretty good so this is going to be sedimentary all right and this is going to be metamorphic all right good everything fits now I just have to change my text text and I'm going to highlight here and I'm on a Mac I'm going to do shift option command V and that's going to paste it and match the existing style so I'll do that again I've got my metamorphic okay highlight my text copy it come to my new slide highlight my text and shift option command V and I paste it in and so there we go that looks pretty good I have one problem with this which is my blurb here is on three lines and here it's on three lines but here it's on four lines so I would really like just for visual um, kind of consistency for them all to be on three lines so in order to do that I have a couple of options I can either make it a little bit less padding on each of these so that there's room for this to be on three lines or I can make that text smaller uh, I'm not sure what will be best so I'm going to experiment I'm going to highlight all three cards and we're going to make our padding a little bit less on the left and right that didn't quite do it so I'm going to go a little less more to see what we got to get to here okay so even with making my padding much smaller on the sides it didn't quite get there so my next option is to go down one font size so I'm gonna highlight it and we'll go down one point two okay there we go so I went down two. that looks fine so I'm gonna do the same thing for all of them okay but now I don't really like the way things are wrapping so I'm gonna highlight them and I'm gonna increase that padding again okay so you can see this takes some some playing with okay I think we are pretty close here now one of the things I can do like I don't like the way the word lava wraps here so I can do a couple things like put a break in all right and just make sure that I have single spacing and whoops uh, remove space after okay and here remove space after remove space after uh, this one I want it to be um, the same line height so it was 1.15 okay and there we go I think that actually looks pretty good um, I can make them a little bit shorter because I don't need quite so much room make them each a little shorter okay and I do want to add just a tiny bit more padding on the sides all right I'm pretty happy with that so that looks pretty nice um, so my slide is good to go and I'm ready to present it just as it is um, you know one thing that's bothering me I want to make these titles a little smaller they're a little bit too big for me, so I'm going to drop them down to 22. Okay, that looks nice. Um, now, I will tell you, normally one thing I might tweak a little bit is the character spacing, which is how far apart the letters are. Um, but unfortunately, that's not an option in Google Slides quite yet, so I have to kind of leave this as is. Um, now, there's one other tip I want to share with you. If you were presenting something like this, you might want to be able to focus on one of the cards at a time. So you could either have them build in like this dissolve in and this dissolve then this dissolve that works um, but there's another trick I like to do which I think is nice I'm gonna take my slide and I'm gonna duplicate it so I have it three times and on the first slide let's say we want to focus on igneous I want these two still here and visible but I want them to kind of be hidden so there are lots of ways to do this one thing I like to do is to just add uh, kind of an overlay so I'm just gonna draw a rectangle 
right over these, okay? And I'm gonna fill it with that same color as my background. So if you remember, here's my background color. So I'm gonna fill this custom with that background color, but I'm gonna make it a little bit transparent so you can still see them. Let me turn my border off. And there we go. So now you can see this one stands out, but you still know there are two other cards here. They're just kind of subtle in the background. And then all I need to do is copy that box. And on this slide, I'm going to change its size so only the middle um, card is showing. It looks like that. I do want to make sure and bring the card that I want visible to front so the shadow looks good and everything. And then I can do it again here. Oops. Okay. And here I want to hide my first two. I want to bring this one to the front. And here I want to bring this one to the front. Okay. And there we have it. So I'm just going to hit present now so we can take a look at our final product. Uh, this is what we started with. Very boring. Uh, doesn't jump out at you. It's not really clear the relationship between the bulleted information. And it's just kind of blah. So here I can talk about igneous rocks, then sedimentary, then metamorphic. Uh, and then what I might do also, just as a final step, is duplicate the slide again and remove that um, all together, that, that overlay. And so now we can talk about igneous, then sedimentary, then metamorphic, then we can see them all. Um, and it's a much more engaging way of kind of visualizing the three groups. So there you go. In just a few minutes, we went from a really bland, boring slide to something that's a little more interesting and certainly better at communicating the content. Thanks for watching.